So continuing on, I want to show you the floor, uh, yeah, the window covering here. It's like the other one on the other side there. And uh, adds a lot of light in here. There's a hook for your shower curtain. Very important that you put the shower curtain around before you start using it. We've got some wall hooks in here. We've got the mirror. It's quite a comfortable and well thought out shower. This is a heater panel. You have heat coming out at least at five locations. Across the back of the bed, behind the kitchen counter, underneath to keep the floor warm in the bathroom, we have a loop and we have heat coming out by the table. So it's quite a nice arrangement. Here would be another cubby. A lot of storage around the top edge. We've got a storage compartment below the seat right inside the door. We have uh, the air conditioner under this area, so there's no storage here. But let me show you these vents. These vents for the air conditioner can be turned down or up. It's my opinion they should be turned up because that way you get the cold air up and the uh, heat rises. So you want to uh, get that area in the upper area cool and let the cold air descend. This would be a USB and 12 volt outlet here. Uh, this is definitely the best build of the 400 that has ever been done. One thing I did not point out is the screen door. You either need to take the trash can off or leave the door open when you have the screen door closed. That pretty much does it for this camper, but I do want to point out that these shades and screens are well designed, but they're in a curvature. They have these little fuzzy things that keep bugs from crawling around the edge of the shader screen. And in order to uh, accommodate the movement of them, you sometimes need to work at bringing them up. If you just yank on them and pull them up, you may damage them. Whereas if you work it down slowly in increments, those strings will have a chance to move out of the fuzzies and operate the way they should. Now, once I've brought it down, I can go up and down with that particular section of it very easily. But that means the other strings have moved position. And if there's been a period of time lapse, uh, I might not be able to put them up as easily. Those that are straight behind the stove and sink always move quite well. Those that are in a curve, you need to be careful with. Well, thank you for watching our video. I hope you have a whole lot of fun with your new 400. Uh, like I said, it's the greatest trailer they've built so far in the 400.